Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada Jetfire. And this is one big space shuttle. Yeah, just for a size comparison. There it is with first edition Prime. That's a Voyager class figure. So this is a big, almost leader class size box. Let's take a look at it. Jetfire, this is ultra class. I like the figure, our model line. Here's the top of the box. If you really want to read the bio, <laughs> the back of the box. And this is one big box. Comes with Commodore, the Minicon. And it does combine with Armada Optimus. I don't have Armada Optimus, so sorry. <laughs> but that is Jetfire, Voyager class, whatever you want to call it. Made in 2002, bottom of the box. Yeah, Megatron and the Space Minicon team. Okay, this is, did I mention this was big? Big, look at that, that's my hand. <laughs> Comes with a little Minicon Commodore, and this is what I really dig. Oh, and it's windy out here. This is what I really dig about this is, the little Minicon actually can roll the space shuttle. Without it, it won't roll, and I, I like that. You can see it has these little wheels. That's the Minicon. That's kind of neat. It also has this little chest piece right here, which I haven't figured out where that chest piece goes. And that's all right. As you can see, there's the, the bottom of it. So it was relatively flat. I know there's a lot of panel lines, but I like the color of it. I don't know if it's yellow because of age, but is this supposed to be an ivory egg white uh, kind of yellow? I don't know. Uh, soft plastic of the nose cone, kind of weird. I like the overspray, and I, the Armada line seems to have a lot of oversprays. A lot of details, like the red here is a little glint on that. The missiles over here, and the Minicon is kind of weird. So let me take off this chest piece. As you can see, it's supposed to drag this. This little chest piece helps it drag along, and so it can actually move. All right. Enough about that. This little chest piece, and I just don't like how this is tabbed. It just tabs in here, but these tabs are going to break one day if, with excessive force because I, I just don't like that. But it's a good figure nonetheless. Minicon is just weird looking, and that's what it has to look like in order to pull jet fire. Oh, man, what a beast. All right. Oh, one thing I forgot is it comes with the comic. So you've seen this before, Armada Optimus. I wish I can get that. The Minicon teams. Let's see, made a review of Blur here and Cyclonus and Starscream. Only one I have in is Scavenger, and back in the day I used to have that. I want to get this long arm fellow. There's Megatron and there's Jetfire with Commodore. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, GI Joe. All right, this thing. If I remember correctly, I'm not big on the transformation. I Yeah, this little thing revolves over here. Okay, there we go. And that is what it's supposed to look like. Some six-wheeled vehicle, like a lunar rover or something like that with a satellite comms on the back. And it does what it does. It rolls well. So one thing I like about this is... It does peg really well, and I like the Autobot symbol. There's missiles over here on the bottom that if you peg it, it should shoot out. Don't quote me on this, because... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll say it. Hey, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Drop the bomb. Hell yeah, and it's windy out here. Excuse me for all that. Normally I don't have these issues, but it is what it is. Okay, so a size comparison. I already made that. One of the things also is that the Minicons, when you pop it up over here, the wings will pop out. Let's see if we can make it happen. See these wings on the side there? There we go. There we go. Both of them pop out. And they're cantilevered backwards. So it's kind of neat. One last thing. Minicon can go into the loading dock, and there goes the other missile, and you can just peg them in here. There we 
we go. So now he's pegged in so he can deploy. Oh, and I love the detailing inside. I never noticed that. Look, at you got Saturn and want that. Yeah, that's like awesome detailing. I like this figure. Yeah, I know it's as an Armada line. It's kind of weird. And let me tell you, you got, in order to transform this thing, this thing has to be pegged in. Whew. A lot of details. And one thing I forgot is that I know that the gun makes a lot of noises. There we go. Just have to press the pin. Yeah. Take off. Yeah, that's a cheesy effect. <laughs> but I like that. There's another... So you got that? All right. So neat little features, humongous, a uh, few bits of undercarriage stuff, and yeah, and you can kind of see the arms, but other than that, I just like the figure. It's huge. Let's give it an eight out of 10. I wish they would have disguised the panel lines a lot better because it looks like Astro Train if you remember from the G1 era. Whew. Okay, I've been talking about this guy. Let's go ahead and transform him. All right. First thing we're going to do is, uh, flip these up and these are going to come to the back so you're just going to flip that up and oops there we go and they'll have the wings so we're going to have that next we're going to separate the legs and they just pull down and then this as you can see there's two tabs right here and here and here and here they tab into the legs. So this one is securely fastened. Yeah. And I gotta set this down. Alright, so the legs are out. Looking good so far. Pop the legs down. And it's very important that you move the thrusters vertically. So the legs go down. Move this thruster. Let's actually move it up. And now he has nice legs. Move these knee pads down. All right, looking good. If you want to, hmm, yeah, pop in the cantilevered arms, or sorry, wings, vertical, horizontal steps. Pull the arms out, let them pop to the side. Arms pop out, there we go. Good, and like I said, remember, yeah, this is the only thing I don't like. It's so flimsy. Uh, yeah. You gotta make sure that this connects. And it's flimsy. Alright. This does form the chest. So where was I? Alright, let's form that. Okay, so this entire portion will rotate down. Keep that that well, actually we need that for the transformation to Armada oops and I always do that that's just a little piece on the top that fell off okay so yeah very flimsy I don't like that but other than that yeah you have to keep these tabbed in you have to or else this figure is gonna fall apart and that's one thing I really don't like about this but oh well and it's part of the gimmick or else we won't have a payload. Move these panels up, head goes up. And of course this panel popped off at when, when I transformed it. You gotta be careful with that. There we go. Wish they had a little gap or something over here to cover that little gap, but sadly no. Then you can manipulate the wings wherever you want. I'm just going to leave them up for now. And let me do the articulation while I got them in a decent pose. Head does have articulation. You got that pseudo. And I'm going to say it's not really light piping. But it's kind of neat nonetheless. Arms has that ratchet. And you can see the ratchet right there. Move ball jointed elbow. Or shoulder joint. Bicep swivel. Single joint on the elbow. And the it does have a swivel on the fist no waist articulation but it has a weird upper thigh swivel and the hip joints are limited single joint in the knee but it doesn't bend 90 degrees huge feet with the feet it does have a ratchet 
nice no heels per articulation so it's not bad and it's huge feet do allow him to stand no problem and then let me tell you this is a big boy it does come with his gun and one thing is with the gun too you can connect the mini con right here and oh did i mention this thing lights up yeah i don't know what it does but the mini con does flicking yeah i don't know if you can tell but Yeah, it's kind of neat. All right, let's get the chest piece. Chest piece does connect. So he's got a shield right there, and he can hold his gun. Ooh. There we go. And there we go. Ooh. What happened? Oh yeah. Whoops. Counting down. These missiles, now that I de ejected them. There you go. I like this figure. I mean, for an Amada figure, it's not bad. Certainly, it could do a few more extra things. But, details, the colors, it, it looks big and bulky. What can I say? Here he is with... This is Magic King Magic Ranger as a size comparison. So that's like a Voyager class figure. And there we go. So you can see it's definitely bigger than Voyager size. And I got G1 Jetfire as a comparison. So whew, it's about eight and a half inches tall. So we want to give you a size comparison. I like this figure. It definitely has personalities. Yeah, there's a few flaws, but it just, I don't know. It just looks good to me. It, it, it's something awesome about this that I really dig. I give it a seven and a half out of ten. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. Oh, one thing I forgot too. Let me transform the minicon. And this thing has a weird transformation. Uh, first of all, put that down. Yeah, put put that down. Put that up. And this moves in between the legs. Oh, man, this is like the weirdest transformation for a minicon that I've ever seen. Yeah, because these become the legs. And that does pop out. It's not supposed to. And, and interestingly enough... What happened? Got too cold? There we go. Interestingly enough, these become the arm. You can see the guy's head. So, yeah. Let me rotate them. There we go. yeah that is a stretch <laughs> but a neat little figure nonetheless and he stands up all right all right youtubers that's all i got and i catch y'all next time